Good morning and welcome to Spring Creek Canyon. We are coming at you. I know normally we we say hello from the car, but we're not in the car. We are it's a Sunday morning. Uh, it's another adventure in Utah. We are excited to do this hike. This hike is something that we've been talking about doing yeah. for multiple months right now, ever since the summer. Um, it is a 5.3 mile hike that runs parallel to Canera Creek. So if you can't get a permit for Canera Creek, I've heard that this rivals it. It's actually, it's longer, 5.3 miles, 949 in elevation climb, which I'm all about. We get our workout, we get to burn off the omelets and bacon we just <laughs> ate. And, which uh, is really good. We, and we're really excited about it. So we got Dad and Michael and Kim and Peanut ready to do this. And she's forced into it. We feel like if you, wear, if you want the weather to get colder, you wear cold weather gear and that way it forces the weather right well she went like two or three steps ahead she's got christmas tights on do you see this christmas true story it's october it's the middle of october and i am really trying hard for y'all i yeah. want us all to enjoy this it's all about weather. you it's all about you it's not about me so anyway let's get on this trail let's see how awesome it is we're only about a 200 feet in it's already beautiful. Really sunny, but it feels good because it's chilly. Which is what I, my Christmas pants worked. Look at this crazy looking bug. Oh, I don't want to get too close to it. You guys can, the boys can. Oh boy, what the heck is this? Someone tell me what this is? Okay, I'm now. Man, we picked the right time to do this, right? Yeah. Peanut, do you need help? No. He's a big... <laughs> They all make fun of me for babying my dog, which you don't do. But they think I do. If you go early morning, the shadows are incredible. The shadows are amazing. Mm -hmm. That's what we're catching. We got here early enough that we can dilly-dally and not rush anything. So beautiful, this canyon. Really cool. Peanut. He's enjoying himself. It's a pretty easy trail to follow. Um, yeah, very heavily trafficked. Super easy. The vegetation around here is super uh, dense and rich. There are oak trees everywhere, aspens, tons of these little bushes. They're everywhere. It is so rich. Look at this canyon. Wow. We just found a perfect cookie. And it goes with your my leggings. Beautiful. This trail is pretty stunning. The sun, the leaves, the growth, the creek, the rocks, pretty amazing. Look at that. Okay, at about a mile and a half in, you start to get into the guts of the canyon. Yeah. And you start to, because uh, all this up until now has been in the sun. Now. The walls are tighter, higher, closer together. Now we get to be in the shade, which I've been looking forward to. Yeah. It's going to be great. It's hard though because it's soft sand, so you're going to get a calf and a booty workout because it's not easy to walk, hike, or do anything in soft sand, so be prepared. I am feeling this hike. Uh, by, the, by the way, there's poop everywhere along this trail, so beware. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. Look at this. It keeps getting more colorful. And What? 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 This is so good. Look at this. As I always tell you guys, don't forget to look up. Look at this cool ledge we found. It's so incredible. We're gonna climb up it. No fear. Yeah. Peanut! Stay. 
this great, that little uh, cavern canyon amphitheater-ish <laughs> thing we found. Yeah. Recommend coming up here and having a little photo shoot. Like or, just, told you before. or just quiet time, or just quiet time. time. Yeah, it's crazy. This if is just, were, it's just stunning. Yeah, if you were uh, into a meal and doing a picnic, this would be a perfect place to do it. And with the sandstone, it's pretty, it's pretty grippy on your shoes. So it's not too hard to get up. Like this. Yeah, see it works pretty well. Demonstrating picnic. <laughs> see exhibit A. <laughs> Is that my nickname for not? I am exhibit A. <laughs> exhibit A. <laughs> We're gonna write a letter to the Utah Department of State Nature. <laughs> State. <laughs> 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 because they need to clean up this trail. I've got state, dirt in my the shoes. Department of State Nature. <laughs> yes. Y'all write that down. The Department of State Nature dot gov. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and tell them, hey, there's too much dirt on the trail. Some of it got in her shoe. We're complaining. <laughs> what wonderful uh, consumers we are. Uh, don't be me. <laughs> Check this out. This beautiful creek. The trail goes here. Creek goes there. We're going in. Yeah. Ah, my little monkey. Peanut, you are not monkey number two. Look at all the red trees. Maple. <laughs> red. <laughs> red. All the red trees. Okay. Look at those trees growing on the ledges up there. Look at the trees growing on the ledges. Here. Look at that. That's cool. Here's a nice little... It's a little bit of a slot canyon. I mean, it is. It's not super narrow, but it's a slot canyon. You got walls on both sides. The leaves match the rocks. It's wonderful. Wonderful. And we haven't seen very many people on the trail. Looks like we're entering like legit slot canyon. It's such a rich red. Mommy shark baby. And I, I love the shark song. If you notice, there's a shark shark eyes, shark shark teeth, shark fin. <laughs> well hello there! What we've noticed is in these slots here where it's cold, the leaves haven't turned color, which is very interesting. So pretty. <laughs> My dad likes red rocks. <laughs> I don't know how far this keeps going, but this is a slot canyon where you can touch both sides. Exhibit A, hey. <laughs> there is a little bit of scrambling. They said this trail is 5.3 total. We've already gone. My phone says 3.1. Dad says 3.4. Michael says 4.1. So somewhere in the middle. Oh! Uh, the left path looks like doable, uh, but kind of vertical. We're going to go right and we'll, yeah, just for fun. We're going to dead end soon probably, but we'll find out. If you hit this at the right time of day, it looks like the walls are on fire. It literally looks like they're just radiating heat. This fall foliage, in my opinion, this would be the best time to come. It's like my dad said, a winter wonderland about fall of leaves. Someone's a dick. Creeping down, trying to get to the end. We're totally off trail now, by the way. It looks like a trail, so we keep following it. But according to all trails, <laughs> we're way off. We found a place to stop. Uh, in his phone, it says we went 6.2 miles. Mine, it says <coughs> 4.2. Dad's says 4.3. 
I don't know. I'll tell you what, 4.5. This hike is way longer than 5.3 total. So we're That's just going to, we're going to take a break because it just keeps going and going and going and um, we don't have all day. So I'd say a 10 mile hike. Is yeah. Pretty good That's day. Fair. We climbed 1300 feet. 1300 feet. Do you hear that? So you could just keep going if you want. It's worth it. It's beautiful. Um, and yeah. some people did. They went beyond. There's, we know people who passed us and went beyond. So it's, 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 it's kind of as long as you want to make it. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. If you have the time, just keep going. It's so worth it. I promise. Yeah. Oh, this is so great. I mean, especially the fall time. Uh, we've never seen colors so enveloping the whole spectrum. On the ground, on the sides of the creek and the trees obviously it's pretty pretty cool yeah yeah i'll show you the carpet of leaves here see just a carpet of leaves okay we are gonna head back it's lit up the cool thing when you do a hike that's really long is your walk back looks totally different than your walk there because the sun is in a totally different place guys look at this on the left side orange leaves right side yellowish green leaves split right in the center of the path. Strange. Look how pretty this is. Oh. The reds and the greens and the multicolor. I mean, this is really, look at that. It's a little bit of everything. And then it turns all yellow. Wow. Look at this area, it's super. Really, really spectacular. Highly recommended. Onward. <laughs> when we walked this way, coming, it was uh, super early in the morning, so it's a lot darker. Now, it's a lot more colorful, and it looks like something we haven't seen before. Get into the easy part. Mine is crossing the creek. We are getting close to the finish line slash starting point. Um, and just to let you guys know, it's actually in the town of Canaraville. That is where it's, some maps will say Cedar City, but it's really the town of Canaraville. Um, so keep that in mind. It's like summer on the way back and fall deep in the canyon. <laughs> we did it. Uh, we are clocking on the app that counts the most miles between the three of us, just over 11 and a half miles. You can go, like I said, as deep in as you want. Um, but it's so beautiful. It's so, oh my gosh, the views are just incredible. Highly recommend Spring Creek Canyon. Get out here. If you can't get a permit to Canera, come to Spring Creek. It does not disappoint. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. And thank you as always for the support. If you don't mind sharing with a friend, liking, commenting, that'd be great. And I will see you on the next adventure.